Hello, uh, welcome to this episode of Lost in the Pond. Uh, for Christmas, we got a book from our brother-in-law and sister-in-law, Otis and Kari. So thank you for that. And it is a book, uh, the UK to USA Dictionary, if you can see that. Uh, very nice, very nice. And uh, just to, while we're on the subject, in fact, just to give my brother-in-law a quick plug, since he was kind enough to buy us this book and prompt this video, uh, go to his website, which we will link to down below. If you are in need of guitar lessons, I know I could do with some myself. Um, but today, my wife, Tara, is on the show. Hi. And we, together, are going to go ahead, and we've, we've pre-formulated a list, uh, each of us, of words from our respective countries that the other one has to guess the meaning of. Okay, first one. I'll, I'll give you a nice easy one to start with. Uh, brolly. Umbrella. Very good. Tuckered out. Tired? Yeah. Oh, wow. It sounds like it should be. It's sort of, <laughs> uh, you've passed out, but, it, but it's a bit different to that. Okay, what is a doddle? I think of it as like, I don't know, being really slow. Like, you know, slowly walking or like taking it. Well, your time. It's, it rhymes with waddle. You know, not Chris Waddle, the footballer. He was actually quite fast, but waddling along. Uh, doddle actually means something that's easy. Um, oh. Yeah. Uh, unlike this game, which is proving 50-50 so far. Diddly squat. N like zero, nothing. I have diddly squat. Yes. But I didn't know that until I moved to the US. So again, it's cheating in a way. Gormless. Gormless? Yeah. Oh, I used to know this one. Um... I love this word. I know we've talked about this word a lot, yeah. but I you don't. You once used it about me years ago when she was drunk. I can't even guess. I don't know. Uh, gormless. Uh, without decorum, like I, having I, I having it, a lack of social skill. <laughs> you, you, those could be characteristics of a gormless person. A gormless person is usually just sort of dim-witted. So, oh, okay. yeah, yeah. I, I taught, was almost there. <laughs> you, you were, and I taught you that definition years ago, and you, uh, you rather thought it, it described me um, at the time. I still do. Surf and turf. Unbelievable. Surf and turf is a type of food, isn't it? It's, it's, it's like, what, some, what is surf and turf again? Um, <laughs> uh, it's like me and something. I've forgotten what it is. How have I forgotten what surf and turf is? It's one of my favorite things. What is it? Tell me then. It's lobster and beef in the same meal. Now, how does that even Usually work? steak. How does surf and turf... Because lobsters surf on the ocean and turf, cows are on the, the ground, they're on the mud. Yeah. Jesus, that's, that's far-fetched. Um, uh, kex, K-E-C-K-S. Wasn't there a cereal called that at some point? I hope not. I wouldn't eat it. I want to say there was. I don't know. You guys tell me in the comments below. Was there a cereal called Kex? Maybe it was Kix. I don't remember. Uh, um, but so, Well, uh, uh, to give you a clue, actually, when you do kick something, you use your legs, which, you know, are often covered in your... Excrement? I oh, hope not. no. I think <laughs> that wasn't the best clue, clearly. Um, no, although I have... Something about cows, I don't know. Well, as you should. Um, but I've I've played football and been covered in excrement at the same time. But I was That's wearing... Horrible. I know. It, I grew up in England and near a farm. What can I do? There were cows available to me there. Um, but I was also keeping my legs warm, wearing... Socks? Oh, gee, that's my feet, isn't it? That's, oh, your legs? Yeah. Leg warmers? <laughs> oh, never mind. Now, are you all visualizing him in leg warmers? Maybe we should get him in some. Not again. Um, <laughs> it's, it, do you want me to tell you? Yeah. It's trousers, pants. Oh, right. Kex. Um, I think... Ke that is a dumb name for I trousers. agree with you. Kex has also been used to uh, describe underpants as well, which I'm currently wearing. I'm only wearing underpants. No trousers. Again. I, mean, I always do that. That is par for the course for me. Dinky. Thinking. <laughs> Sorry, that it, it just sounds. It sounds like a, a, a man's small genitalia. I think. Does it mean small? Small or unimportant? <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. Uh, dinky. So yeah, dinky. dinky. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny, but it's it is a good word to say. It is. I'm gonna because well, and I think of the Teletubbies, Tinky Winky. Oh. Next one, Natter. 
is it like idle conversation? It is, yeah. We're having a bit of a laugh to hear. Well done. Well done. <laughs> well done. Well, well done. done. <laughs> how did you know that? I don't know how you would know that. I feel that. like that is a word that comes up a lot in British comedy. Is it? Yeah, I you're probably so, right. Yeah. yeah. Next one is subdivision. Well, it's it's you subdivide stuff into you have you have things that are divided into divisions, as it were, but then you have things that are elements of those divisions. That you have the parent division and then the things under it okay. that are subdivided. Technically, yes, but this is a specific thing that's being subdivided. Oh well, it's a company term, a, a, a subdivision of a parent company or whatever. What? Usually it's used, at least like in a home context like this one, Yeah. Um, in terms of your housing estate. Like we don't have the term housing estate, we use subdivision instead. Yeah, and you have realty, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, but we have... realty just means like... No, I know, but we don't have that for word, sale. really. Yeah, I know, yeah, but we don't have that word. Uh, okay, next one, uh, to pop one's clogs. To die... That was that died a death. All right, your, oh, yours. All right. Well done. Okay. You did very well. Flatware. Flatware is it's to do with cutlery, which is a word that's not so known to American English either, isn't it? It's like like silverware, and then then you've got Tupperware, but flatware is what is flatware? I know the word. <laughs> it's to do with like is it baking? Is it like a you know your uh, I've no idea. It actually is cutlery. Oh, yeah, right. I'll just, I'll edit out the <laughs> Not nearly as convoluted that. as all of that. All right, I just wanted to make it harder <laughs> than it was. Uh, purple patch, which is something I'm not going through currently. Uh, sadness? No. Weirdness? No. Confusion? No, you, you're, you're on the wrong end of the scale with this. Excitement? No. But it, but Happiness? It is, it is a positive term, um, but not quite Busyness? there. Busyness? No, do you want me to tell you? Yes. It means uh, that you're going through a good spell, like a good run of form. Like a team, a football team, could have oh, six wins right. in a row and they're going through a real purple patch at the moment. I don't know why it's called that. It's That's a bit, silly. It's a stupid term. Yours. Sounds very football-y. Yeah. Hey, don't knock the great sport. <laughs> okay, next one is stoop. Stoop. To, to uh, you, I mean, you you lower yourself down. You stoop As a to, noun. Oh, a stoop. Um, it's a. Um, it's. I, I know this word. A stoop. It is a. It's in horse riding. No, it's not. What is a I stoop? I mean, I guess you could use one in horse riding. I don't know why you would. I know the word stoop. I've. I've. I've seen it as a noun, and I visualize the word, but not what it means. So I've no idea. <laughs> it is actually a front door step. Step. It was a step. I was about to say a step. He beat me to it. You. Cheater. Uh, what's a stagnite? Oh, it's um, a stagnite is the the celebration that you have before you have your wedding. But but specifically for who for men for men so the bachelor party. Yeah, and we have hens. Very good. Yeah, you do. The, the British. Yes, there, there was a play by Willie Russell, the man who wrote Blood Brothers and Educating Rita, called Stags and Hens. That show would have made no sense to an American audience. <laughs> On the fritz. It means it's on the wane it's it's done it's it's going out it's you know it, it's it, it, if something if an electronics thing is breaking to the point where it can't it can't be used anymore it's about to be gone it's yes. on the fritz it's on the process or in the process of breaking if i say a tip what's a tip this is a good one things are dirty yeah messy Damn. Yeah. How did you get that? Because you say it all the time. Do I? I would. I tried not to because I figured it confuses Americans. Because you have the word tip that you use quite routinely in restaurants. You know what he does? He walks through the house and he's like, "This place is a tip," and then he doesn't do anything. He doesn't clean or any of it. Give away our secrets. This is. <laughs> Everybody's watching this. I hope you know that. <laughs> Who's everybody? My mom. Hi, Susan. Romaine. It's type of uh, lettuce. It's uh, what do we call it? Uh, rocket lettuce, I think. Nope. Not rocket lettuce. What's what is it called? 
I know this because I've written articles on it, but I don't have them handy. It just shows that I'm a fraud. Oh, what is the type of lettuce that it, that we, we call it? I could be here all day. This is embarrassing. What is it? It's called Kos. Of course it's Kos. Let- after the I- the Greek island of Kos. So at least that, is that proves true? that is true. They, uh-huh. they think, they theorize, yeah. Um, is that where it was originally it. grown? They believe so, yeah. yeah. Thank so. you, Greece. Gosh, that tidbit my, of knowledge. My made favorite it, so. lettuce. Yes, indeed, indeed. And I'm down to my last <laughs> one. Uh, what What are you if you're up the doff? Preggers. <laughs> Unbelie- Preggers itself is a British phrase. So yeah. to, just to I clarify. I feel like we use it too. Apparently. To clarify, uh, it means pregnant for anybody that's not aware. Gridiron. Gridiron. Not is... in the literal sense. What do you, what, was it a verb? No, it's a noun. It's a noun, but not in the literal sense. So I'm not specifically talking about like a gridiron that you cook on. Okay. Like, is it a golf club? No. It is a sports term. Is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is a sports term. It's the gridiron. It's American football, isn't it? What about it? The gridiron is the, the, it's the grass. Yeah, actually, it is. It's the field. Wow. (laughs) I completely made that answer up. So I feel very, uh, very, very, very good. Happy New Year. That's it for this episode of Lost in the Pond. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Join us next week uh, or this weekend for Ask a Brit. And uh, don't forget to check out this book if you find it online. It's, yeah, it's Bob's Your Uncle with the UK to USA. There you go. It's a really good book. You should look at it, especially if you want to know the differences. Indeed, by uh, Claudine DeVays and John Hunter. Uh, So thank you for that. Um, Don't forget to follow Lost in the Pond on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And you can also go to my website at lostinthepond.com. And if you want to support the channel, you can do so at patreon.com slash lost in the pond. Till next time, cheerio. What would you say? Uh, bye now. Later. So. Yeah, later. Later.